Hey boys and girls, today we are going to introduce you to the great concept of when you write a script, what does it look like when it becomes alive as a play? So we're about to show you what that play will look like. Here we go. In March 1787, British government sent a fleet of 11 ships known as the First Fleet, 20,000 kilometers around the world to a new land known as Terra Australis. These ships carried over 1,500 men, women and children and traveled for more than 252 days in the rough conditions. When they finally reached Terra Australis in January 1788, approximately 775 convicts and 645 free persons caught a glimpse of their new homeland and its local fauna. Dr. Arthur Bowersman was a surgeon aboard the Lady Penrith and he kept records of all the mysterious creatures he saw while in Terra Australis. Now let's begin with scene one. Dr. Smith is walking along the rough paths of Sydney Cove visiting the Banks family when he sees Mary Love who is a convict and now cooks for the Banks family. Dear me, dear me, I had better pick this celery quickly. I can't believe I was convicted of receiving stolen goods. Me? Stolen goods? An elderly lady like myself? Ha! What nonsense! It's been such a long journey on board the Lady Penran and I miss my family in England so. Well, the Banks family are my new masters and I'd best serve them well. Hello Mary, what are you picking? Good day Dr. Smith, I'm picking some celery for tonight's soup. Goodness gracious me, I can't believe this. What is this Dr. Smith? It's the size of my thumb. Oh Mary, they're ants. We first came across them when we arrived in Botany Bay at Sydney Cove. Oh goodness, they're everywhere and we tried to catch them, but it wasn't a good idea. Not a good idea? Why? Well you see, they have a bite that is so painful. It rushes right through your body like nothing else. So please be careful to avoid them. I will, I will. No celery for tonight's soup. Okay. Better to be safe. You look worried. Well, to be honest, Dr. Smith, I've heard so much about the different creatures here in Terras Australis, and not all of it was good. I am very worried about meeting such creatures while out looking for fruits and vegetables. Aren't you afraid to walk all this way? Dear Mary, you do worry so much. <gasps> Dr. Smith, what, what is that? That! It looks like a giant hopping rat! Shh, my dear. Let's not scare the creature. That's a kangaroo. A what? A roo karang? A kangaroo. A king of roo? Kangaroo, Mary. Kangaroo. Look how magnificent he is. Dr. Smith, what strong, powerful legs it has. The easier to hop with, my dear. What a long, hefty tail it is. The better for it to balance with, my dear. Ooh, what sharp claws it has. The better for it to dig with, my dear. <sighs> Bless my heart. I can't believe I came face to face with a roo -karang. I mean a kangaroo. Yes, Mary, and what a fine specimen, if I do say so myself. What power, what courage, what an animal. One really has to see it to believe it. I'd rather not see one again. That creature was as tall as me, and it looked me right in the eye. And those sharp claws, they could tear human flesh. No, Dr. Smith, no. Please, can we walk quickly? I need to get indoors fast. <laughs> Oh, Mary, don't be afraid. Let's go indoors and have a nice hot cup of tea. Okay, let's go.